Hey there, everybody. It's Mark Crowley. Welcome to another uh, video in a series of videos that I'm doing about my new manga uh, or comic book project for uh, Dark Horse Comics. It's going to be coming out next summer. And uh, I had originally done one video that was uh, called the, the Dark Horse Chronicles. It was supposed to be a, be a series of videos with that title, but people were getting confused and thinking that that was the title of my new series. Well, it, that is not the title. In fact, I can reveal uh, the title with this video. It is called Brody's Ghost. Uh, and why don't I just sort of splice in here the logo we're working on for the uh, cover of the uh, graphic novel. So there you see, that's uh, the design that we've come up with. Uh, let me know what you think, because uh, there's still time to change it based on feedback and that kind of thing. What I'm working on right now is uh, inking one of the panels uh, in the first book. And as I get this work done, I want to uh, answer some of the questions that I got based uh, on that first video that I made some time ago. Uh, and this first question comes from Tina K. Uh, 00777. And the question is, hey, what comes first, the characters or the story? And that's a great question. I think for uh, some people, they might come up with characters first and then uh, invent a story for those characters. That's not the way it worked for me, though. I definitely came up with the story first, the, uh, the idea for the story, and then the characters uh, came later uh, as I worked out that idea. Um, I came up with this idea quite a long time ago, and I described it a little bit in the last video, and some people thought, based on my very minimal description, that it sounded like a copy of uh, uh, comics like Bleach and uh, uh, Death Note and things like that. And uh, to be sure, there are aspects of it that uh, you could say are similar to those stories, but when you see the actual uh, graphic novel when it comes out I think you'll find that it's uh, rather drastically different from any of those stories that it may sound similar to when you describe just the very very basic concept of the plot um, I'm working on right now this. Uh, the, what I'm inking right now is the face of the main female character in the story uh, her name is Talia and uh, you can probably guess that the the boy's name, the main uh, character of the story. His name is Brody. Uh, and I'm not going to go too much further in the direction of uh, explaining too much, because in a way, if you know that his name is Brody, and that the uh, title is Brody's Ghost, you can really kind of start to imagine maybe what the uh, story is all about. In any case, uh, let's continue to the next question, and that is, are you going to be using a similar toning style to Miki Falls, or will you be experimenting with that also? This is from Danavuk, I think, uh, D-A-N-I-V-U-K, who asked that question. Um, the toning uh, is going to be quite different from what I did in Miki Falls. As you, uh, anyone who's seen Miki Falls will know that that series was done with uh, black colored pencil, Prismacolor, and that it, it featured very extensive toning. Um, I was trying to go for a very cinematic kind of a look, and so you see a lot of different shades of gray and so forth. Um, this series, I'm going to step away from that and go for more of a lightly toned look, which is more typical of what you see in manga. Um, and uh, it's, it should be... I mean, you'll you'll be able to see similarities between what I did on Mickey Falls and what I'm doing for Brody's Ghost, but I think you're, you'll be struck at how drastically different the art is uh, in certain respects. Let's go to one more question, and that is from Emerald Butterfly 241. What is your schedule like when drawing a manga series? Uh, boy, that's a great question. <laughs> the schedule is pretty intense. Um, there's going to be 85 pages in this first volume, and uh, I need to get all of this stuff in by around about the middle of February. I may be able to uh, turn some of it in a little later than that, but if, if I haven't got 
the lion's share of the work done by the middle of February, I'm in trouble. Uh, and that is why you have all noticed that I have greatly decreased the frequency of my YouTube videos. I'm so sorry, but uh, you know how it goes. Uh, paying work comes first. Got to feed the family, and that's uh, kind of what's going on right now. And I'm in, I'm loving it, you know, because for a while there, uh, if you watch some of my older videos, you will probably be able to read between the lines and see that I had a period of time where I was I was kind of underemployed. I didn't have I hadn't found a publisher for this story, and uh, uh, we went through some kind of lean times there about a year ago when uh, when I didn't have much. Uh, work on my desk and now I've got plenty uh, as they say when it rains it pours so um, if you don't see too many videos from me uh, in the weeks and months ahead you'll know that I uh, have got my nose to the grindstone and um, getting work done on Brody's Ghost. Let me take maybe one final question here D4N1E7Vizard who asks will the manga itself be a thin comic book like a Spider-Man comic, or will it be more like a manga, like Bleach or Naruto, uh, Death Note, one of these big, thicker uh, published works? The truth is it's going to be kind of between those two. It's going to be small, uh, you know, from top to bottom, side to side, kind of like most uh, published manga, but it is not going to be quite as thick. It's going to be probably about half as thick. Excuse me while I move over here to try to ink this line. Um, there we go. It's going to be considerably uh, thinner. Let me show you, uh, and I think it's you're not going to see the whole thing here, but this is uh, this is about the the thickness of of a comic. This one is called Gear School. That's the title of it, uh, and this is full color. Mine is not going to be full color. It's going to be black and white, but you can kind of see that it's fairly thin from front to back. Uh, and uh, I had proposed the series to them as three thick books. They decided, hey, let's go for six uh, thinner books, which is kind of cool in a way because then you get six different releases uh, and you can kind of slowly build the story over time rather than just three books. So I'm kind of excited about that, and I hope you all will be as well. Um, let me go ahead and wind this video down and uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, please do keep sending questions uh, about Brody's Ghost. I'm anxious to let you guys in on the process. And, um, you know, the way things are going with my work schedule, uh, it will probably be uh, easier for me to do more videos in this series than for me to do a whole bunch of the how to draw videos, though I will try very hard to make my next video a how to draw video. Um, and though I can't promise that it will be <laughs> back with another one real soon, uh, it will be back with another one as soon as possible. Uh, thanks for your patience, thanks for watching the videos, and uh, thanks for supporting me by getting my books. I really greatly appreciate it. And finally, because today is Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving uh, to all of you who celebrate it. And um, I will try to get back with you uh, with another video as soon as I possibly can. Take care, everybody.